So everything has been rounded over now. The inner, well, outer and inner edges have both been rounded over. Uh, only about 20% of it was done with the router. The rest we've done by hand. It's taken about three hours to do. Um, but we have kind of exposed some areas. Let me see if I can find an example. And maybe you can see that right there. You know, we've exposed some little pockets that we need to, you know, get some epoxy in and some filler. Fill those, um, sand them down, and then we should be just about ready to paint, I think. I think we may be past the rain. There's some blue sky over there. Uh, so we got to wash this down, get all this dust off, because we basically made a bunch of, of sanding mud when it all got wet. So I think we're going to wash that off with water and then give it an acetone wipe, then fill this stuff and then sand it and then maybe paint. Hey, hey. I will go turn on the water. Okay, well it is that time again, folks. The time that we've all been waiting for. A time that comes around only every so often, but a very special time indeed. And the special time I'm referring to is the time when Tambi puts sunscreen on her legs. Look at her massaging the sunscreen into her lower epidermis. Okay, so now we are fairing out this rounded over outside and inside corners. And we did a little section here. Um, it was uh, trying to kind of figure out this process. It's a little tricky. Um, I tried cutting some little pieces of plastic cup that I could kind of... The idea was that I could kind of curve it to match the, you know, the radiuses of these inner and outer edges, but this didn't work so good. It was just kind of messy. But uh, what, what we did that it did actually kind of work okay was just using my hands, I mean my fingers, you know, smear some on there and then just kind of shape your finger to the radius and smear it out. It's very, very low tech. But uh, I don't know, can't come up with a better way to do this really. And then Tambi's come following behind with a scraper and basically just cleaning up all the excess to try to minimize how much sanding we have to do. Yeah, that's the process. guys I just got done hosing down the decks and giving the uh, cap rail a rinse it has been a long day I mean we have done two things today and that is sand and fair and sand and fair is that two things or four things but there hasn't been a lot of uh, diversity in today's tasks. But we've gotten it done, right, baby? Yes. Oh, man. So this is what things are looking like, pretty much. It's all kinds of different colors. But it's uh, got a really uniform shape to it, and it is nice and flat. But we're out of time for today. So we are going to work on that stuff tomorrow. Right, baby? 
That's right. All right. So for now, we are going to get showers and find something to eat. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep. Yep. And work on it again tomorrow. That's right. Right. Anything you want That's to say, Tammy? No. Not really. Look at this shot, though. You got to say That's something. A great shot. Here, I'll say something. All right. I really enjoy being here with you. Even if we're mm -hmm. here just sweating and toiling and working on the boats and I just, I enjoy being here with you. I enjoy being here with you too. Yeah, there we go. Give me a samuchi. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. It is a new day. We have Pop-Tart for breakfast, mixed up a batch of Gatorade, Tammy's rubbing herself down with sunscreen <laughs> once again with her latex glove on. <laughs> All right. Hey, Tammy. Yes. Touch it. Touch what? T the cap rail, of course. <laughs> Feel how smooth it is. It's really smooth. I mean, really, isn't it? Doesn't it feel good? Yeah. I mean, it does. It it is so much smoother feeling than it looks. Like, oh man. Like it's it's all discolored. I mean, not discolored, but all you know, all these different colors and different areas of contrast and such. It looks like it would be kind of rough, but oh man, it is just it is just silky smooth. But got some little imperfections. We're gonna find those imperfections. Mark them with tape. And then, uh, and then fill those imperfections, sand them off, and then hopefully be ready for paint. How do you like sanding? I hate sanding. <laughs> Tammy, attitude. We have a t-shirt that says, sanding sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I would buy one. It is accurate. But we're done for now. For now. Everything is Getting very close to being able to put on some paint still have to do some taping and uh, you know wipe things down with You know whatever some solvent or something like that, but here's the situation You got big old clouds on the horizon over there actually just heard thunder come from that direction clouds to the north clouds to the east clouds to the south And there's even one straight up over our head <laughs> So I mean we're we're anxious to get this project done and get this get you know keep moving along but trying to be picky about the weather so we're gonna go grab some lunch while the water from uh, washing down the deck is drying and uh, it's supposed to be clearer weather this afternoon so we're, we're hoping we can get a coat on later so yeah let's grab some lunch baby okay hey do you want to thank somebody for that there uh, yes. upgraded bumper shoot now just wait, 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 wait. Let me let me just let me give a little context real quick. Uh -huh. Tamby started off with a little red bumper shoot, yep. little red umbrella, and it uh, gave her a little bit of shade. Then we gave her a slightly bigger blue umbrella, yep. and that kind of helped her out a bit. But somebody saw that Tamby had a need, yep. and that need was shade. So there was a little hookup involved. What happened, Tamby? Warren. Uh huh. Warren sent me this lovely bumper shoot. Mm hmm. I love it. What's so special about it? Well, it's got a hook on the end, mm -hmm. a little clamp, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then it's got a pivot point here uh -huh. where it can spin, pivot point here, and then there's another pivot point here. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Thanks, Warren. Thank you, Warren. So here we are. We are taking turns to tape the outside of the hole. One person holds the umbrella while the other person tapes. It's currently Tammy's turn. She's doing a great job. Yeah. 
Mm. Okay. All right. I'll we'll switch out. Switch out. You look like you could use a wet down. I could use a wet down. I got you covered, honey. Arms out. And spin. Spin, 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 spin. There you go. There you go. How's that? Great. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh, that's luxurious. <laughs> ah, thank you, honey. <laughs> All right. The temperature is so hot out here. I'd be willing to bet that the surface of these cap rails is, you know, easily over 100, maybe 105, 110. I mean, it, it hurts your hand to, you can't hold your hand on them. I mean, they're, they're that hot. So we have the, the cap rails covered with those drop cloths now. Just trying to get that temperature down. Comfortable? Cool down there? Mm -hmm. Nice. Can I try it? Yep. <laughs> all right, we are gearing up for paint. Got all of our liners and tray and uh, we'll be filling that up with that stuff here in a minute rollers all this stuff uh, and here's what we're going to be putting on this is the total boat stuff this is the wet edge paint one part polyurethane and the color is sand beige that's what we're going with now this thinner is designed to be used with this paint i'm not sure if there's anything really special about it or not but you know trying to trying to follow the rules here so that we have a you know a good uh, result in the end so we're going to wipe down the surface with this and thin the paint down by five to ten percent because it is hot out there so we need to need to thin that stuff down now here's something that i should clarify my intent I look so goofy with this freaking <laughs> I mean, I look goofy anyways, but it look real goofy with all that stuff on. My intent was to actually prime this surface. We were going to prime it, you know, put a couple coats of primer, primer on there, do some more fairing, and then paint it. However, I ordered primer twice for this trip. Uh, the first one got lost in transit, and the second one, uh, it's, it's actually probably at the house now. Um, but it arrived like three days after we left. I tried. I tried to, to uh, get the primer. Uh, however, this paint doesn't necessarily need primer. It can be applied directly to epoxy and fiberglass, so we're going to go that route without the primer. Yeah, so just wanted to mention that, but okay, we're about to paint. Here we go. Anything you want to say, Tammy? Nope. Let's do it. Let's do it. First coat is on. Yeah. We've got one more coat to go. We're going to do that tomorrow, but we got it done. The weather worked with us, and we are thankful. Look at that big main cloud over there that could have came over here and dumped a bunch of water on it, but it did not. Oh man, I'm so glad. Okay, yeah, but tomorrow we got to we got to pull this paint up. We got to give it a light sanding. Yeah, we don't. We're not going to pull the paint up. We're going to leave that right where it is. Man, I am pleased with that. Hopefully, it dries good and everything I'm looking forward to the the final product I 
sunscreen time. Once again, this Tampier prepares to do battle with the elements, mainly the sun. <laughs> you make a documentary just about me putting on my sunscreen. <laughs> All right, the tape is off after our first coat of paint. Uh, I'm trying to not give you too many close-ups. I'm gonna give you the close-ups, uh, you know, later once it's uh, completely done. So, not gonna completely, uh, you know, spoil the surprise, but it's looking really, really good so far. Um, now, we do have some little imperfections still that we missed in our uh, fairing and filler step yesterday. Um, so, we gotta go back and just, there's maybe, I don't know, 10 little tiny spots that we just want to get a little filler in uh, before we put on this second coat. So we're going to do that, send off the filler, um, rough up this uh, sanded paint with 320 sandpaper, and give it another solvent wipe, tape everything off again, uh, and then, you know, do our final coat of paint. That's kind of what our plan is today, but... Trust me, this thing is looking real good, and we're, we'll give you some glamour shots once we, you know, get that final coat of paint on there. All right, so here's the damage at this point. I've got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know, it might have ended up being more like 20 places where we put little bits of filler on there. It looks, it looks kind of bad, you know, that, that stark contrast, and it did hurt me to put this uh, filler back on what was our mostly uh, beautiful cap rail with the exception of just some of those minor imperfections along the edges but I think this is going to pay off so we have sanded down the little you know little areas that needed touch up and uglied everything up once again all right we just gave everything a sanding with 320 sandpaper uh, we used 220 sandpaper before we put on this first coat, and now we did 320 sanding. And this should be the final coat, aside from any touch-ups that are needed after the fact, which I'm sure there will be, but this should be the final coat. Tamby, you're looking a little hot there. You could probably use another wet down. Okay. Let's do one of those slow motions, uh, dramatized, sexy kind of wet downs, okay? Okay. Are you cool and comfortable now? Yes, that was a little much. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You are so extra. <laughs> it, Tamby, we used like half a bottle. <laughs> I, th I, think, I think the words you're searching for are thank you. <laughs> it went in my ear. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> All right. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's a good chance this may be the thumbnail for our video. Okie dokie, we didn't film it, but everything is now taped inside and outside. And with the exception of a solvent wipe that we are about to do, we are ready for paint.
Ben is starting on the last. Hopefully. Nope. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully last coat. Last coat. Hopefully last coat. Mm -hmm. We are finished. Look at that back there. Oh, there's an idea of what we're working with here. Doesn't that look good? Look at that shininess. Look at that sheen. You can almost see your reflection. There's a bug right there that's stuck in it, but no big deal. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like tomorrow when we pull the paint off. Pull the paint, pull the, pull the. Pull the tape. <laughs> It's been a very long few days. Yes. Cut me some slack. Tambi, how do you feel like this whole thing went? It was good. Yeah? <laughs> great. Great. Our word is great. Uh-huh, because we're not going for perfection, because that's, that's very that's difficult to great. achieve. And we're not going for good enough, because that's a little, that's setting the bar a little too low. So we're going for great. Great. And I feel like we achieved it. Agreed. I feel like we did. I mean, Look at that shininess. Mm-hmm. Looks pretty darn good. All right. We're done. We're done, Tamby. Yay. We did it. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm so wore out. My, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I need your help. We're wore out and we're hungry. So we're going to finish up cleaning up. And then we're going to go get dinner. And then... Tomorrow we get to go home to see Molly. We're super excited. I do miss Molly. It's miss been, her when she's gone. Uh huh. It's been four days without seeing the kid. Yep. We miss her. We're looking forward to when we can all be back on this boat together. Yes. But uh, yeah, this is just what we got to do to get to that point. Yep. All right. We're looking forward to showing you what this looks like tomorrow. So uh, see you tomorrow. Good night. Tambi, the tape is pulled up. The tape is pulled up. How's it look? It's great. Great? Hey, hey, that's exactly what we were going for. All right, we are finished. Just pulled up the tape on this cap rail and it looks fantastic. Yes. Yeah, we're very pleased with it. Now this project is not completely done yet. Mm -hmm. We still have to reinstall the hardware, like the bow rollers and uh, the push pit on the back and uh, the sail track. Um, but I'm, I'm actually thinking about possibly doing away with the sail track, thinking about doing a simpler setup. So we'll keep you posted on that. Um, and also we're gonna be adding some non-skid on top of you know this these rails. Anywhere where there is not hardware, we're gonna put some non-skid down there. So still have a few things that are, need to happen concerning the cap rail, but, and uh, could not have done it without the help of my beautiful bride. Thanks, honey. Oh, you're welcome, darling. That's pretty much it. That's it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. That's right. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching this week's episode. We hope that you enjoyed it. We have <laughs> some new patrons to welcome aboard this week. Uh, the first one is FB Never Monday. Another patron we want to thank is Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. Mm -hmm and Chesapeake Jewelers. Yeah, thank you guys for becoming patrons. We really, really appreciate it. All right, now Deidre and Ronnie sent us something off of our Amazon wish list. So we have... Painter's tape. Painter's tape, yes. We're going through loads of this stuff, so thank you very much for that. And you guys also sent us a little water outlet thing that we're gonna use to hook up for an anchor wash down. I can't find the little part. I actually suspect that we already took it to the boat. But uh, that little sucker's either around here somewhere kicking around or most likely at the boat. So thank you very much for that. Wish I could show it to you, but I'll show you a picture instead. We also had a PayPal donation this week from Dennis for the hydration fund. Thank you, Dennis. Hydration fund. I 
sent that. My question about that is, does that specifically need to be used for water or could it be used for possibly some other kind of beverages? Thank you for watching this week's episode. See you next time. <laughs>